Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a December reads and studies, and I know this is pretty late. I have recorded so many videos, but they're probably not going to be uploaded when I wanted them to be uploaded because I scheduled everything in like a weird way. So I'm not sure if you're going to see this early. I'm going to try to schedule this actually to go up on Tuesday. Fingers crossed. Right now it is Monday, December 10th, so hopefully I can have this up either the Tuesday or that Thursday for you guys. But um, yes, this is going to be the things that I'm going to be reading for December and the things that I'm studying for December because I've joined a few things, I've switched up a few things. So I'm going to start off with my reads. I'm going to start off with the Christian nonfiction books and then dive into the Christian fiction and then talk to you guys about what I've been studying and how my studying has been going. Um, starting January 2019, I will be more consistent with these because I will be sticking to them just because I'm keeping myself accountable to the things that I say that I'm going to read and study. So, the first book I'm going to share with you guys is one that I've already finished and I raved about this on my Instagram. I have posted a review on my blog. I think today I posted that review, which is Monday, and I'm um, also on Goodreads. I did create a Goodreads account because... I already have a Goodreads account because I do book reviews, obviously, but I created a separate one that's specifically for, like, Daughter of Increase so that you guys can see specific Christian fiction novels and f Christian non-fiction books that I've been reading. I don't want to keep it um, combined with my regular books because I do read, you know, the romance and fantasy and stuff, and some of you guys are not into that, so I created a... Uh, separate Daughter of Increase Goodreads account so you guys can add me on that that's listed down below you can always see what books I'm reading what page I'm on on the book my thoughts um, and things like that but yeah the book is going to be Lies Young Women Believe by Nancy Lee I say Nancy Lee DeMoss because that's what her name was but Wogameth and um, Donna Gresh this is the teen version to Lies Women Believe I do own the Lies Women Believe as well as the Lies Men Believe and I'm also going to be getting my hands on the Lies Girls Believe just because I love the series it's so good um, I finished this book it took me about four and a half months almost five months to finish this book now with these books you guys know that I, re I read and review books quickly just to get the reviews out and then I go back months later to read the books at a more slower pace and that was a, the, the, the thing with this. I read this and I think I previously gave it a four stars um, when I like quickly breezed through it but then this time when I took my time four months obviously to read it um, I gave this five stars. It was so such such a good book. Um, it really makes you dive deep into your inner self into that little girl that's still inside that you think has been healed um and really just helps you to get over some things and bring some things to the forefront so that you can have proper healing i loved everything about this book this book was phenomenal you guys can check out my book review i will leave it linked down below my old one and my new one um so both of those will be down below but i finished this book already thank god um for months the next book I am currently reading, I have inside of my little pouch. Um, it's A Woman's Guide to Spiritual Warfare, How to Protect Your F Home, Family, and Friends from Spiritual Darkness by Quinn Shearer and Ruth Ann Garlock. This is actually a book I'm supposed to be reading my mother. My mother has not gotten into reading her yet, but um, I finally decided to dive back into mine, and I am loving it. I have chap I'm on chapter 8 at the moment, right? Yeah, chapter 8. So I should be finished in this no later than Thursday because I'm reading three chapters at a time. So um, today is Monday. I'm not sure if I'm going to get any reading done today only because my little one is sick. He's not feeling good. So I'm probably not going to get much of this done. But I am loving this book. I didn't want to get this book because I really thought it was uh, um, similar to Fervent by Priscilla Shire. And someone had posted, I think here on, on YouTube, and said that it's not the same. Um, it has the same kind of vibe where it helps you get into prayer. But this one is more specific on spiritual warfare. Whereas Fervent is just building your prayer life and being strategic. This one, oh my god. There are so many prayers. I mark the prayers with like the purple tabs and the pink tabs are things that I really want to remember. I have gone through and I mean, <laughs> I've annotated the mess out of this book, you guys. This book is amazing. I am loving the prayers and I have actually started taking the prayers out of this book and putting them in my Pray the Scriptures um, Bible. I actually have a video that's going to be posted on IG, I don't know when, probably before you see this video. Um, sorry about the lighting, you guys. I'm actually in my mother's room right now and she has her curtains 
down so um it's kind of like weird so hopefully when i edit this i can fix the lighting but um yeah this book is so so good if you can get your hands on this book i definitely suggest you get it even if you have fervent this one is like on a whole different level and it is so so good jam-packed with prayers jam-packed with so much insight biblical knowledge i love it so much i'm really enjoying this and i should be done with this in about three days i have this much left to go so i should be done within three days with this book hopefully um, the next one I have is one that I'm loving but slowly, slowly taking my time to read because I really want to digest it and all. Um, and it's When God's Ways Make No Sense by Dr. Larry Crabb. This one goes through Jonah. Um, it talks about Paul when he was Saul. And it also talks about, oh my god, Habakkuk? 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 Habakkuk. I think that's how you say it. So yeah, it goes to those three men and, um, I really really like this book this book is so good um i have been doing the same kind of thing with marking it up i take notes at the end of each chapter just to um summarize what i got out of it but yeah right now i'm not that far i'm only on chapter five yeah so i'm hoping my goal is to finish this before the 31st like before the 31st is over to finish this book because i've been reading this book since june i believe or july it's been a minute so i need to finish this book i am really enjoying this book i'm just taking my low sweet time to read it so pray for me pray for me okay the next book i have is um it's called he calls you beautiful by d breston it's hearing the voice of jesus in the song of songs um or a song of solomon and i'm supposed to be doing this with my sis Anne from transform through god's word but i have not been able to really keep up with it um honestly i read chapter one but this is also like a reading and a bible study in one so like i read through chapter one and i have been answering the questions here but i've answered the questions in this um journal that i have it says you are enough and i mean you guys this this is some serious stuff in here i've been taking my notes like this is all from chapter one and i'm still on question five i haven't gotten a chance to catch up with it just because i'm doing so much trying to prepare um daughter up increase for 2019 getting the study guides and all that ready and whatnot so it's a lot i'm probably not going to finish it but i'm going to say that i'm going to try and get into it at least try to get to chapter five like try we'll see um, the next book that I have is a Christian fiction, and that is going to be from Tessa Afshar, and this is again another book that I've read, but now I'm going back to take my time to read it, um, and it's Thief of Corinth, and this one is basically one of her, I think, New Testament stories on um, Corinthians, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, um, and the Apostle Paul, so I'm quite excited to dive into this. I have only read the prologue, and it is, uh, it's, it's insane. It is insane. And one of my favorite quotes, I'm going to tell you guys, it says, But the choices that lead us into broken paths often have their beginnings in more convoluted places. And, um, I don't know, I, I just felt like I liked that quote a lot when I read it. So, yeah, it, I'll have to explain it when I do my full video review on this book. But, um, yeah, I am reading that. So, moving on to study. So, you guys know that I gave up on Mark. Um, and it's not that I gave up on Mark, but after reading John... And then going into Luke and then studying John again with you ladies um, and guys here on YouTube. Um, I just got overwhelmed with the Gospels. Too much Gospels is not a good thing. Um, don't get me wrong. I love Mark. Um, I'm loving Mark so far. Like, I only made it to Mark 3, parts of Chapter 3. But I just, I felt so overwhelmed after reading Luke and studying John so many times. So um, I took a pause from that and I didn't really know what I wanted to study. But I recently found out that Bible Study Fellowship has online classes and i've always wanted to do bsf which is what bible study fellowship stands for um the acronym for bible study fellowship sorry and i've always wanted to do them but they never had any locations where i lived and um in new york there are so many locations but i live in jersey um and i didn't find out about it until i moved to jersey probably a few years ago um so i finally found out on instagram that they had virtual classes in signed up immediately now the process to sign up is really not that complicated um there are two different websites there's a mybsf.org and then there's the bsf satellites you sign up for a class at bsf satellites and then once you do that you go on to mybsf.org to get the lessons and lectures and stuff like that now i've literally have gone through three classes um three different groups because um the first group i signed up for the timing was perfect but i didn't 
connect with the um when i joined in i just i couldn't feel a connection once i went through the, the pictures of the women in the group and there was nothing with the women in the group obviously it was just that um, i believe the coordinator or the group leader was from nigeria and a few of the other women from nigeria and they were a little bit older and um i'm only 27 um i prefer to be in a group that um has women around the same age bracket um just so that we can really kind of bond um and then the second group that i joined was for i think college women um college ages basically and i'm 27 i'm not 21 i'm not 18 or whatever um but i just i don't know the timing was again perfect but i just i didn't want to be in a group that was too young if that made sense um just because i'm not in college anymore um i still have a year left obviously but i'm not in college anymore i've had my college experiences and i i don't know i just i didn't want to connect with that so then i found another group and I fell in love with the group. The timing works great because it's during a time my son is in school and um, it's on Tuesdays. And I really just, I like the um, the family orientation the group has because the leader has already called me. She has emailed me. I have her on Facebook. I have spoken with the group on so many occasions. I'm actually doing the some of the Bible studies with one of the ladies within the group. Like we do video chats every night and um, I have been enjoying it. So I am doing DSF this year going into next year sorry about that guys i had to go check on my little one like i said he's not feeling well he has a really bad fever so you know i'm in mommy mode but um yeah so i've joined bsf and i haven't started my first class yet i don't start my first class for another day <laughs> um like i said this video is on monday december 10th my class is until december 11th and then they go on like a large break so i haven't had the full effect of being in the lecture discussion classes but i have been filling out the um lessons and right now they're on lesson 13 come tuesday and i did do my questions i have already printed everything out i mean i have a whole binder set a whole binder you guys this this is all bsf and um i have gone through lesson 13 let me take it out so I can show you guys. I have gone through lesson 13. I haven't read the note yet because apparently the way they do it is that you answer the questions. Then you have um, a discussion on the questions in the chapter that you read. Then you do a lecture from the previous lesson. And then you get the notes for that lesson. I think that's how it works. Like it's a very weird system. It's a fourfold approach. It's very weird to me. So... I have to get used to it after tomorrow, but um, yeah, I haven't read through all of the notes yet, but I did go through and answer the questions, so, you know, I've answered the questions already, I love it, there are also these daily dive questions that I'm probably going to answer as well to review to, um, tonight on what I've read so that I can be fresh to understand tomorrow, and then I'll read the notes but yeah so they're on lesson 13 which means i have to catch up from lesson 1 to 12 before um next year because we don't have class again until january 8th so that gives me three and a half weeks to really catch up and i have recently been catching up with lesson one um so here's lesson one which is on joshua so the lesson is called the people of the promised land and they go through joshua ruth in um the book of samuel samuel so i you know always have to have a dedicated bible for something right so i've been using my beloved new king james spirit filled life bible love this bible i rave about this bible so much you guys already know i love it so much um this is literally one of my newest favorite bibles and i have been you know marking in this bible as i read let me show you guys here's first samuel I've been marking in this Bible. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera, but I've been marking in here as I read. I started in 1 Samuel since we're still in, we're on 1 Samuel chapter 21 to 24, if I'm not mistaken. So I was going to start at lesson 7 um, and just go from lesson 7 to 12 and then catch up on the other six lessons later. But the Holy Spirit has been leading me to start from lesson 1. And the Bible that I'm using to do my notes and stuff is the story of redemption bible from crossway the esv and i love this bible so much it's, this is a pretty gold royal bible that i love so much and um let me take off the dust jacket but i have been using this bible for my notes um and 
you guys, I've been going through Joshua. Now, I read it first in the New King James, and then I read it in the ESV. But when I read it in the ESV, I listen to an audio Bible, either through the Bible, the Holy Bible app from Version, or through um, Blue Letter Bible, which I just found out they have um, audio Bibles. But their audio Bibles can be narrated or dramatized. And I kind of like the dramatized version, just because it brings to life the voices for me. So, um, yeah, I... <laughs> have been journaling the heck out of this um, and I've gotten all the way to Joshua 2 so yeah I love this for Bible journaling I've been using my zebra mountliner highlighters and um, yeah I I am loving it so that's basically what I'm studying um, right now into next year um, I do have the Daughter of Increase studies set I do have the Daughter of Increase book club set I will have a video on that going through all of the books and the studies that we'll be doing for 2019 because I'm so excited. Um, actually, the next week or so, I need to start typing up the study guides for the first uh, Bible study that we're having in January. Um, and I'll have more information on that next week, hopefully, for you guys. Um, exactly everything we'll be studying and things like that. But yeah, that's basically my December reads and studies. Um, it's a lot. Let me get a second to drink my coffee. Mm. I found a new call for you guys. Now, I found out about this from um, Barnes & Noble's because they have the little Starbucks section. And it's their white chocolate mochas. Their ice mochas I always would buy. But I found out that Starbucks, this is sold at um, Walmart. It's the white chocolate double shot energy drink. It's a coffee energy beverage, basically. It's not a mocha. It's actual coffee. So I drink it cold. I really like it cold for some reason. And I just have it in my little penguin mug with um, some French vanilla creamer. It is so good. It does not need sugar. And you really don't have to add creamer. But I like that vanilla taste. So I just think it blends perfectly well with the white chocolate taste. It's so good. So yeah. So that is it. Um, as far as my December reads and studies, again, I will keep up with these in January because um, I want you guys to see what I'm studying and what I'm getting out of the studies and things like that. I'm going to try to be a lot more, um, what's the word, not consistent, but try to just keep up with doing these so you guys can see the different things that are available to study out there in the world. But um, that's pretty much it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.